Hello, I'm Stephen Wilkinson from the Compost Tea Brewing Company in Perth, Western Australia. And today I'm going to demonstrate to you our new 1200 litre cone bottomed compost tea brewer. So I'll show you the cone shaped design on our smaller 400 litre brewer. So the construction is identical to the 1200 litre, um, just a different size. So <clears throat> the advantages of, of a, a cone tank um, design over, for example, an IVC container is that your water is 100% aerated. So we have a single pipe design. So your air is fed to the bottom of the tank and this ensures that your compost tea brew is 100% aerated all the time. So when your air blower is bubbling away, um, there's no dead spots. So if you have dead spots in your compost tea brew, it can go anaerobic and you don't want that. So with an, a, an IBC container design, you often see a lot of those um, demonstrated on YouTube. You have quite a lot of complicated pipe work to fill the bottom of the square tank you probably have uh, maybe two or three hundred holes drilled into your pipe work and even that won't ensure that your compost tea brew is completely aerated 100 percent now the other advantages of using a cone shaped design is its simple construction which means they're very easy to clean so with the single pipe we have a T valve on the bottom. We have um, one's the um, well, the inlet and one's the outlet. So it's they've said they're very easy to clean. What I do, I when the when you finish your compost tea brew, I put about a hundred liters of water in the bottom of the tank. Put some mild detergent in there, and I get a stiff brush and just wash around the internals of the tank. Just clean the top of the tank with a stiff brush and then give it a hose down and your tank will be completely clean, ready for your next brew. So if you have to clean an IPC container, for example, you've got all the pipe work to disassemble, it's a square tank, it's quite difficult to clean and time consuming. So you'll definitely find the advantages um, both ways. It's a more efficient brew and the easier to clean. So, the size of this tank is just over 1200 litres and we fill it to 1000 litres, which is here. Now we don't fill it to the top because you do need that extra space because when, when I'll turn the air blower on shortly, you'll see that the agitation, it does agitate the water to quite a high level. Um, <clears throat> so we've got a reinforced pipe work that goes from the bottom of the tank to our one of our commercial air blowers have got sat on top of the shelving. Now it's very important that you have your brewer, sorry, your blower sitting at a height higher than your water level. Um, and uh, this is one of our tea bags. So we suspend the tea bag in the centre of the brewer. We've got some stainless steel fittings on either side of the tank, the stainless steel chains, and the, the mesh in this compost tea brewer is got a, a whole size of 400 microns. And that's very important. So when you've got your, your compost inside your bag, the microbes can come out of the tea bag. So it's very important that you use a, a very good quality comp compost in your brew. So we always recommend an organic certified compost. Um, so I've got a tea bag in here and that's already suspended from these, the stainless steel chains and your brewer comes complete with a lid. Now there's a central plug. Don't install the plug when you're running your, your blower because we need some space for the air to vent out the top of the brewer. So I'll turn this brewer on now 
and you can see the agitation inside the vessel. I'll just turn it off because it does get quite noisy. Now, I'm not going to make a, a brew today. This is going out to a customer tomorrow in Queensland. Uh, if you look at our YouTube uh, channel, I do have a uh, explanation video on how to make a, make a compost tea brew with this tank. This is one of our 400 litre brewers. It's exactly the same procedure, just a, a bigger vessel. Now, We've got this tank here. This one's going out to New South Wales tomorrow to a customer. And we so, it's all palletised, ready to go. And we offer fixed price uh, customer pickup from the Couriers Depot in New South Wales, Victoria, Canberra and South Australia. Now we've got a fixed delivery charge of $395. But for that, you have to collect it yourself from the, the main depot from the courier. Now we do have some good rates uh, door to door. If you contact us, uh, if you go to the website, uh, www.composttbrewing.com.au, you'll find our contact details there. So please con contact us and we can give you competitive pricing for door to door delivery. That's Australia wide. Okay, so thank you for watching today.